guys, welcome back to the channel. I know I did promise that I would be uh, only playing a few tanks on Twitch, and some of you guys got back to me on Discord and said, how about I just pick one tank and show off, you know, um, ideas, funds, things of that nature. And so, you know what? I'm going to do my first impressions of the E77. So... Hey guys, here is the E-77. Now, the E-77 is constantly being compared to the E-75. Now, bear in mind, my E-75 is not fully... Um, it's not fully uh, um, upgraded or anything like that. And I'm not planning on upgrading it just... Excuse me, upgrading it just yet. I want to upgrade it uh, mostly on... Um, I, I mostly just want to upgrade it on uh, um, on 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 Twitch, you know, or, or when doing the on track series because I'm still doing that with the mouse. And yes, I don't even have a crew for the tank yet. Reason being is my Tiger Two crew are here, but I'm actually enjoying the Tiger Two. I'm enjoying this Tier Eight Tech Tree tank. Everyone's like, "Why get yourself a a a, a, a Lerva?" I have a Lerva on the North American server. I like the tank. It's a fun tank. It's just I prefer the Tiger Two. Tiger 2 is a very defensive tank. You can get into a very mid-slash-aggressive position, hold it, and go from there. Play defensively with the Tiger 2. Don't sit at the back of the map and camp. You're not a sniping tank. Okay? You're not a sniping tank. I don't know why people assume it's a sniping tank. It is not a sniping tank. Now, let's get back to the E77. As you can see, I do have um, some very advanced crew. Even though my crew... Uh, I've never had a single battle in it, as you can see, zero data. I have not played a single battle in this tank. Now, everyone keeps asking me, how um, does my crew get so advanced? I'll, I'll, I'll move myself out of the way for a second. How does my crew uh, get so advanced uh, without any battles? These are all females. That should be a hint for you. When you do the campaigns in World of Tanks, so you see I've got the Stug 4 completed, and I'm in the process of doing the T28 HTC. But as you complete the 15th rank in all of them, you get a female crew member that has perks already unlocked. Now, also, don't forget, as you progress in your um, battle pass, you get I now yes I I have recently purchased the Cobra for the full 28 tokens I've still got enough I've still I'm still going to be getting a few tokens enough to be getting some other stuff unlocked to mostly uh, uh, some um, better equipment but you can get crew for item points now even though you get item points just by completing certain mini missions, things of that nature, those item points can be used. Wow, really? Can be used to purchase previous crews from previous battle passes. Okay. Now, I happen to have. Now, and this is the thing: they are a one-time purchase. You cannot purchase more than one. Trust me. If I could, I would. I would, but you can't. And yes, I do have Max von Krieger, but Max von Krieger is only for the um, Predator. I want to get a Max von Krieger. I want to get a Max von Krieger. So that's how I purchased the Commander, because she comes with the Battle Pass. And the rest of the rest of the female, the rest of the crew, came from completing the campaign missions. Okay? So now you understand how I got that. And then I did spend a few books. Okay, I spent a few skill books to skill them up. Okay. So if I did this. Huh. And then did that. She'd be max max crew skill near down there for a commander but I I don't want to burn that many books now again I've not taken this tank out 
from what I have seen, um, there is the the typical go with this, you know, rammer, turbo, and uh, hardening. I've gone with turbo vents and hardening. The reason why I've not put a rammer in mine is if we look at its rate of fire, 11 seconds. Okay, if I add, if I was to add this. Yeah, it goes down to 10, 10 and a half seconds. But the problem is, you're then going to be playing the tank overall in a different way than you should be. Okay, so let me just make that abundantly clear. If it was up to me, I would even strap on a better turbo. I would go to like a bounty turbo. Sorry, not, an, sorry an improved turbo, which I don't have. Okay, or an experiment. So I went with experimental level 2. I don't have level 3s, I went with level 2s, okay? And to offset that, I do have vent purge directives. I've got several of them. I've got 16 in stock, so I think I can do a few, spare a few things. But at the same time, now, what well, doesn't that mean that nerf you, nerfs your, your view range? No, I've got 456 meters view range without optics. Not every tank requires optics. Okay, yeah, optics would be nice. That would push them up to about 470. But the way my play style is going to be in this thing, fingers crossed, which we're about to find out, I don't think I'm going to need optics. Uh, I will be unlocking the majority of the... Um, I will be unlocking the majority of the... Um, aftermarket modifications but for now I think and I will run some boosters but I think let's get into a game no ands ifs or buts about it guys let's let's finally get into a game Alright, so we are on an encounter battle. And the first thing I'm going to do is try and get into position. Pepper, don't. Don't. Now, bear in mind, this is T54. What are you doing? You schmuck. Alright, so there's a Salama there. Doing his little silly little orc daka thing. Alright. So we got a Nimimisisisis. Hello, Nimimisisisisis. So. Ready. Mark 46. Ah, overshot. Again, the tank's not exactly known for its gun. It's known for doing a few things. The gun is not one of them. So I'm just going to go in. Because this is what it's known for. It's known for its speed. It's known for its short radius. People are calling this the German IS is that dead? they're legit calling this the German IS I, uh, German IS-7 I don't care. Whee! <laughs> right, so... <laughs> well, I walked away. <laughs> I 
I am liking this tank. I am liking it. It is fun. Uh, at, at the moment they see me, you saw for a fact that that pattern was like, oh god, oh god, he's gonna ram me, he's gonna ram me, he's gonna ram me, he's gonna ram me. Now bear in mind, we, we, we did kill two tanks, so I'm happy with that. Spotted four, even without optics. Please understand that. I spotted four enemies without optics. I spotted four. I spotted four without optics. You you don't need optics anymore, okay? You just don't. You really don't need optics anymore. Because everyone's hella mad, they're like, oh, you, 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 you. like, bro, chill. It's a game. We're winning. Why you have to be mad? Why, why you have to be mad? It's, it's only a game. I'm, this is the thing. I'm, I'm learning. Like, when you're in a tank, you can have fun with. Okay. When you truly are in a tank, you can have fun with. It doesn't matter. Okay. Look, like I said, there was the guy that was complaining. Udes 1415. Where is he? On the fucking K line, quite literally doing nothing, complaining. Guess what? Improve your mindset, brother. Improve your mindset. Anyway, so me and the Cobra were laughing because even the Cobra was like, that looks like fun. I'm like, it is. <laughs> it is fun. Uh. All right. City, we can knife fight, finally. This is what this tank is designed to do, guys. This is what a lot of people don't seem to understand. This tank is designed to knife fight. Yes, you can side scrape. Yes, you can, you know, you can do... Honest, I feel a bit sorry, sorry for, for them. them. There, 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 are, there are some things that you can do in this tank. I feel, I feel. Okay, now, again... All the people that have reviewed this tank are constantly comparing it to the E75. Don't do that. The E75 is the E75. The E77 is the E77. Yes, I get it. You can try and say, well, actually, you know, and that's fine. That's you, boo-boo. That's you. However, I personally feel that this tank, if left to its own devices, will prove a, a new play style in heavy tanks. Now I'm going to switch, swap out to my premium rounds because there's a T10 ahead of me. I'm lit. Don't care. What's it going to be, Nomad? You're going to try and take pop? No, no man's dead. Again, I'm not stopping. There's a reason why I'm not stopping. I'm a knife fighter. I need to get in as close as I can. And do something like that. And unlike him, I have the speed to get out. Do you see? So we back off. And we come in at a different angle. Okay, is that is this T10 going to back up all the way? No, he's not. That's fine. Now with him. That's fine by me. Okay, he's dead. These guys are going to start backing up. Okay. VK is right there. Fine by me. VK was looking at me. VK just got hit by Artie. I just got hit by Artie. Fine by me. It was a good shot, by the way, Artie. You tried. Crappy's Panzer 07's in the middle. Alright, that's fine. Again, knife fight of me. He's like, none of this. We're not having that. He's gone. Now I'm going to switch back to my regular ammo. Seven seconds. 
And come on. Nice. So we've got some TDs up on that hill. That ain't gonna mean shit. IS3. Let's come under. Come on. Can I? Oh, charioteers making a run for it. No, nope, missed that shot on the run. It's fine by me. Bounce off of a him. You, know, you shouldn't have just done that, mate. Of course, because I got hit by the art. I'm stunned. I lost the stun. What you can do? All right, okay, you hit me once. Good for you. Now you're dead. Right, so he's dead. Three, two, one, and boop. That one pierced. So he's clearly using that AFK tank. Too easy. Right, F he's lit, F he's dead. And GG. Walked away with three three K. 3k spotted one tank 1600 assist got um, got even got one of my missions done the e77 if you kit this tank out right just uh, 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 literally will just do that and not even bother to take names you just need to know how to do it and for me And so, Heavy Tank 5 complete. I'll take it. Third Class Mastery Badge, 148,000 credits, 7,000 base EXP. I will take it. Can't, can't you know, boost the ending because I've already used them up for the day. But Third Class Mastery Badge, in my second game ever. Either people do not know how to use this tank... And sadly, that's the truth. Of course. And I hate to say that. But it shows that people do not know how to use this tank. And it's fine. You want to know why it's fine? Because. you got to understand. This tank. Is just. It screams. Brawler. It screams knife fight. It screams. It screams a whole bunch of different things. It screams knife fight. It screams brawler. It does not scream let me sit in the back and camp and da da da. It, that's not this tank's mo it's not how this tank is shines it's just not so what i do and i'm gonna do this for pretty much most of the rest of my my up and coming tank guides is i'm going to explain the skills and why i picked them and we're going to start with my commander uh i picked marion streamer from the current uh, um uh, battle pass um mostly because i unlocked her first and she's german so why the hell not? I've gone with Brother in Arms. Basic 5% flat bonus. You're better than me no matter what. Repairs because, again, this tank... If, this, if people catch on as to what you're doing, they're going to try and track you. They're going to try and stop you from getting to where you need to go to do what you need to do. Get your tracks done. The reason why is because if you do that, 
and look under your uh, it's just uh, it's not your survivability tab where is it is it, is it your mobility tab i know one of these tabs tells you your track repair speed it's not firepower um it's not spotting come on where is it mobility no i'm surprised it's not under mobility ah here we go so my average track repair time is less than five seconds does that tell you something so even heavy tanks at this tier they don't reload in five seconds the only ones who do are auto loaders and the only one i can think of that comes to mind like that is the 60 tp the t56 and they've only got two shots brusque only got only got two shots the tp the tvp50 he has four shots but it's going to take all four shots to track you and i'll explain why so recon again to see i could in theory pull recon away because i don't need it because i'm not looking to do anything other than get into the pocket it's a boxing term i want to slip your jab slip your jab get into the pocket body 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 ah uh, you're done that's exactly what this tank does concentration again to help you when you spot a vehicle it's a it's designed for a shoot on the move kind of tactic i'm not planning on remaining stationary for more than two seconds to shoot that's it okay so then that leads into the now if i if i was to accelerate my commander's skills afterwards so i would then have, i would then pick practicality to help speed up the use of repair kits don't bother with concealment you're a heavy tank just don't bother with concealment concealment is pointless on a heavy tank it really is i would go with either emergency no actually you know you know what i would go with i would go with practicality and then mentor now the reason why i'd go with practicality and then mentor is because mentor is if one of my crew members get, like my driver gets knocked out i'm still rolling if my gunner gets knocked out i'm still shooting if my loader gets knocked out i'm still fucking i'm still getting a shell in the breach okay so those are the skills i'd go with brother in arms recon repairs coordination practicality mentor gunner what i would do for the gunner oof, if i could again brother in arms is a given repairs is a given i went with snapshot because i want to get my gun dispersion as down as much as i can because again i'm shooting on the move now i would and I'm, I'm taking armor right now again why because it's going to increase the minimum alpha damage i do and it's also going to increase the minimum pen that i do so even if I am knife fighting up close and I know that what I'm aiming at is 300 millimeters and I do 301 millimeters of dam uh, penetration, I'm going to go through. That one millimeter of penetration, ask your girlfriend what's the difference between a six inch penis and a seven inch penis. That's all I need to say. So then afterwards, I will definitely be taking Deadeye. Because you, you, you want to guarantee to get that track, or you want to guarantee to get that engine, or you want to guarantee to get that Amarok, or that Commander, or whatever. Concentration will not work, because you have to remain stationary. The idea of this tank is not to remain stationary. So I will go with quick aiming. I will go with quick aiming, dead eye. Quick aiming, dead eye, and then... Yeah, quick aim in dead eye. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so that's three, four, five, six. Yeah, so quick aiming, then dead eye. Driver, no contest, no absolute contest. Brother in arms repairs, controlled impact because I'm going to ram a tank with this thing. I'm going to. Uh, smooth ride is what I'm learning right now. Again, to help shoot on the move. Now, I would specifically say go with off road driving to help offset go through soft terrain as you saw this tank does get a little bit boggy in soft terrain which does suck so you can't really do some flanking maneuvers like you normally would do so you could go with that and then clutch braking and that's your six skills so you got better hull rotation as well i personally and i'm going to do this with mine i'm looking at engineer the reason why i'm looking at engineer is because if my motor gets knocked out yeah I'm still going to be able to 
get speed up, do things, and even pull back at one kilometer per hour faster. You saw how fast that tank, how how, she, how fast she pulls back as is. So this is a maybe. Engineer is a maybe, but a guarantee is brother in arms, repairs, controlled impact, smooth ride, one, two, three, four, then clutch braking. Actually, no. After I get smooth ride maxed out, I'll probably go with off-road driving and then clutch brake. Or, but either or, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, don't bother with concealment. Don't bother with reliable placement. Don't bother with engineer. Engineers are maybe. Radio operator. This, These are, are, are flat out a given. Brother in arms repairs. These two are, are going to be on the tank no matter what. Situational awareness, again, to increase your view range to save you a slot in your um, section down below. So you don't need to take optics. You don't need to take commander's vision. Not you can take them on heavies, but... Anyway, firefighting. I I don't think I've been set on fire yet. But because I'm not taking an automatic fire extinguisher, that is the next best thing. So, and then afterwards, I would go with either... Communicate no, because communications experts are not going to help me because I've got such a hot a current. I've got under, just a little bit under. T so I would have to have two thousand exp. So I'm I'm basically just tracking tanks and having fe four four zero zero fives one shot or or Foshes one shot. You know, like or or, or or Yaggies hit the tank I've just tracked. You know what I mean? And then the communications expert will kick in and give me an additional two point five. That is a that is a maybe. This is a maybe. Um, so guarantee, 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 guarantee. The rest is all potential maybes. Okay. Now loader. This is where it gets a little bit controversial. And I'm going to shrink my, my my camera for a second so you can see what I'm talking about when I say it gets controversial. Adrenaline rush is great if you are in a tank that has a a fair amount of hit points. Because at the same time, having a lot of hit points and at 5%, that's a downside. Now let me explain. 5% off of 190, I would literally have to be just a hair under 1100 hit points. No, 900 hit points for that to kick in. It's not worth it. So brother in arms guaranteed. Repairs guaranteed. Intuition guaranteed. Take in tuition because again you're gonna want to occasionally swap out to a he shell to blast that one artillery or to blast that one light tank because this does actually get a good he shell okay it does most people have put its penetration but it doesn't matter it doesn't fucking matter okay it doesn't fucking matter just trust me it doesn't fucking matter now i would normally go with ammo tuning and the reason why if you go with ammo tuning your alpha goes up by seven your average penetration is 250 you will never need to use a premium shell at this point at t with 250 pen. Most people are like, well, I've only got 250 pen. I can't get through this. I can't get through that. Okay, you are already putting yourself at a disadvantage by putting you in a negative scenario. Put yourself in a positive scenario. Okay, your tier 9, what you're going to see is tier 10s. There's no tier 11s or tier 12s in the game. Knock on wood. Okay, so the worst you're going to see, tier 10s. The best you're going to see... Tier 7s and 8s. 250 pen at tier 8. Tier 7. Like butter. Tier 9. Yes, you will struggle. Tier 10. Yeah, you will struggle. Depending on the tank. And where you fucking aim. Now, other than that. I would go again. Brother in arms. Repairs. Intuition. Now, I've not been ammo racked either in this thing, so I don't think safe storage would be a, a, a definite thing to take. So I'm going with close combat. Why? Because I'm planning on ramming. I'm planning on knife fighting. So close combat is a guarantee. This is something that you should take. Okay? Especially if you're going to face hug someone so they can't hit you in your weak spot. You're now reloading faster so you can actually get that one shot that you need into that Lerva, into that IS-3, into that, that VK, into that freaking, you know, uh, 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 Cromwell, into whatever it is that's trying to face hug you. Okay? Again, 
So I would go brother in arms repairs, intuition, close combat, and then ammo tuning. Don't worry about perfect charge. Perfect charge is literally, as you can see, is designed for artillery. Don't put perfect charge on anything other than artillery. I'm serious. Just don't. KV2, but you know KV2 tanks that have you know a howitzer. Maybe if you want to troll. But other than that, it's not worth it. Adrenaline rush again, not worth it. If they make it see, if they make it say like under thirty percent of your hit points, then yes, I would definitely take adrenaline rush. But for now, it's not worth it. It's too situational. Close combat again, that is situational, but it's not because again, I'm constantly going to be getting in their face. So this will trigger. So I'm actually thinking about swapping these out. So let me let me um, reset my loader real quick. And you're going to see exactly what I'm going to pick. Because I'm doing it right here. I'm doing it live. I'm doing it recorded. Okay. So guarantee, 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 guarantee. Like so. And then afterwards, go with ammo tuning. Okay. So ammo tuning would be your fifth skill and your sixth skill. I would go with adrenaline rush with it being your sixth skill. Okay. Okay. So there we have it. That's the crew. Equipment. I've gone with hardening. Again, why? Keep your tracks up. Give yourself a little bit of hit points. Bish bash bosh. Nice. Um, now, why doesn't? Why shouldn't you go with um, survival impact? The reason why, if you look at survival impact, okay, yeah, it gives you better risk. And I get it. A lot of people are like, well, it's actually better overall. Is it though? Let's take a look. Has my hit points gone up? So we'll take a look at survivability. I'm at 1,930. My, my suspension repair time is actually gone. It's actually gone up. By three hundred by thirtieths of a second. So, initial module durability inside that I'll take that. Suspension durability is only forty percent, as where that's sixty five percent. It also protects me from impacts, as where the other one does not. Do you see what I'm saying? So, this is why you should shouldn't. This is why when it comes to experimental stuff, these survival suites I tend to just get rid of them because then or use them as a proxy until i've got the credits farmed for an improved hardening now i've also gone with vents reason why a flat five percent additional on top of brother and arms are an additional five percent so there you go and of course i went with a experimental turbo now the reason why i went with an experimental turbo is because if you look Power engine is only 6% as it's normally 7 with a regular turbo, but I get turret traverse speed, hull traverse speed, and dispersion of vehicle movement while gun is... Do you see what I'm saying? It's better overall for what my playstyle is. And yes, I cannot wait to upgrade this sucker to a tier 3. Because then once I upgrade it to a tier 3, it's going to be equal to a regular turbo. And yes, I do have an additional vent purge on it, which gives me an additional 2.5. So basically, this, my current vent is basically, it's not a, it's an improved vent. So, an improved vent is equal to an, an improved vent class 1 along with a purge vent. And you can't run a purge vent along the top with a regular ventilation system. But, yeah, mount it. But, what I can run with, with on top of that is... Huh. I can't. I then I won't need to... Well, actually, I'll, I'll take a look. I'll look at a crew directive. Uh, I could go with clutch braking, smooth... Right? You know what? Let's... Should I go with a smooth ride perk? I'll, I'll probably swap it out for a, a, a smooth ride perk. So we've had two games. We've won both games. Okay. And I'm in the mood for one more real quick. So let's do that. All 
Right, so, okay. Top tree, we're taking on French uh, 50, Tiger 2, Panther 2. They do have a couple of tank destroyers, but so far, nothing that I can't ram and kill. So I'm happy about that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go where the typical heavies go. Come on. R8. Bro, what the... Seriously, action 10? You stupid, limey. And I can say that because I'm British. Alright. Sorry, Indian pens. Alright. Bro, I said sorry, man. Jackass. Alright, so we've got a VK4205A, you poor thing. That's basically just a Ferdinand Porsche uh, fantasy fat fest at trying to make a, a tank. Alright, so now we're on even ground. Our turbo's kicked in. Can I go no, 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 because that's who I wanted to see. Right, so there's their E75. It's not it's an E75, not a Tiger 2. Bro, are you done? Are you done? Right, so I'm swapping to you. Alright, E75 got one into me. T30 failed. What's up, dude? Can you stop hitting my bum, please? You really want that point, that spot, it's all yours, brother. Alright, I've really got to try and get past. There you go, he's fired. And you took one for the team. I sneaky Pete across. <laughs> and they've just realised what's going on. <laughs> it's a T56, not really worried about him. Move. Trying to get up here. Ew. Oh, I missed my shot. Imminent danger to tracks. Boop. <laughs> He's reloading. Ah, crap. He got me. See, this is where the freaking T-30 should be pushing up along with you. Push up. Push up. Move up. Jesus Christ. Why, why do... Seriously, T-30, why the hell do you need people... To literally click and give you commands to push up. How much? Oh god! No, no, no! I'm not letting it get to me. I'm not letting it get to me. I'm not letting it get to me. <laughs> All right, let's go back over here. All oh, these camera controls. Like Jer Jesus, seven, seven, seven. Do you need someone to hold your hand? What are you do? What are you doing? Your left, mate. To your left. There you go. He's right there. Oh, you muppet. Come on, VK. What? It, seriously? VK, just... Oh, my God. VK, shoot. Thank you. Jesus. Why, why do you need someone to hold your fucking hand? Like, for real, bruv. Uh, why, why did you need someone to hold your hand? Your crew's not knocked out. You know, that there's literally no reason. Uh, that, that, uh, anyway, that that's not even a, that's not even a guaranteed win. We've only got Scorp G holding down the base, so oh well. But anyway, guys, I 
I missed now, now my problem was I mistook the silhouette of the E75 for the silhouette of the Tiger 2 because they're the same bloody tank E75 and the Tiger 2 are the same tank okay same tank same tank the only difference is the E75 okay gets the Conix Tiger 105 gun Tiger 2's never originally got this gun. Okay, that's what's that's what it's equipped with. It's equipped with the the, the 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 105 right here. Okay? That technically makes it an E75. They are the same tank. And so go freaking figure. Anyway, guys, that is the E77. That is the crew lineup. That is the skills lineup. That is how I play my E77. How do you play your E77 is entirely up to you. Anyway, guys, keep your shows fine. Keep your enemies dying. Your Cobra Commander is out. And I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a like. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. It's the red button down there. Greatly appreciate it. And if you have any questions, bleep bloop them in the comment section down below. So then, guys, take care. And I'll see you in the battlefield.